for everything the world has we have a spiritual component that gives us advantage they have positive thinking we have positive thinking plus the raw supernatural faith call it awesome remarkable great outstanding or unique and you are indeed correct as these words some of the legendary achievements and personality of Reverend Ntia R. Ntia, Senior Pastor, Full Life Christian Center, Uyo Akwaibum State, Nigeria, who has just attained its golden age. Every action, every word, every experience is a seed, either for good or for bad. Parents have a, a great role to play in what their children are exposed to upbringing ultimately affects living my grandfather was a, a preacher in the Presbyterian church my father and my mother they gave their life to Christ early and they were very very active in scripture union in, cre in graduate fellowship you know so that exposed us to the seeds of the word of God, the seed of, of, of Christian living, the seed of godliness. You know, the, the Bible says, train up a child in the way he should go. Meaning, ideally, this was God's will for every child. That God needs parents to train up their children. And so when it's growing, it will not depart from it. So those seeds are sown. And then a time now comes when those seeds that were sown are watered by the right setting, the right opportunity, the right encounter, and it blows up. So I personally believe that uh, those seeds were sown right there. And then at the right time, God just draws on it. Reverend Tia Ime Ntia was born on Tuesday, 21st March, 1972 in Calabar into the family of four children of late Dr. Emil Kuntia and late Mrs. Stella Emil Kuntia. He hails from Ididebusuk in Ibionibum local government area of Akwaibom State. Reverend Tia Ai Ntia began his formal education in Holy Child International School, Ikorik Bene. Upon completion of his primary education, he proceeded to Federal Government's College, Mina, Niger State for his secondary education. Reverend Ntia is a graduate of the University of Calabar, where he read accounting. Reverend Ntia answered his calling while he was in northern Nigeria, during the times Christians were being persecuted in the region. His calling is about restoring totality to mankind and revival. Hence, he established his church, Full Life Christian Center. We were created out of God. The Bible said that the fishes, God said, let the waters bring forth. So fishes were created out of the water per se. Vegetation, God said, let the land bring forth. That's why if you disconnect vegetation from the land, it dies. You remove fishes from the water, they die. God, when it was time for man, God said, let us make man or let us bring forth man. There is something inside man that is intricately, absolutely, irreversibly dependent on God. In other words, even a person that is living wrong, inside him needs God. And it's a privilege to approach ministry without understanding when you approach ministry without understanding you are so convinced of man's need of god that you have no time to think of the sentiments that might hinder a man from submitting to god reverentia was a full-time pastor at helen Pabius liberty gospel church which is based in calabar until he left to establish the full life christian center in 2000 I now had admission to the University of Calabar, so I landed. By then, I already started preaching uh, in Sokoto then. Then by the time I landed at the University of Calabar, my sister was already a year ahead of me 
the University of Calabar. So she had her uh, opportunity to experience the, 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 the Christian community in Calabar. Incidentally, the husband of Lady Apostle Helen of Babio was a lecturer in the, the, the chemistry department where my sister was. So, and, and he was, I mean, he was on fire for God, he impacted them. So my sister told him, oh, my brother, He's in Sokoto, he has gotten admission too. He's a pastor, you know, he preaches and all of that. So, so by the time I arrived, she used to sing a lot. So they used to go to Liberty Gospel Church to sing. So one of those times they wanted to go sing, they, they needed a drummer. So she invited me to come and play the drums for them. So while playing the drums for them, um, the, 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 Dr. Elijah of Babio, the husband, now told me, preach for us. Um, I had the opportunity to stay on and serve and, and, and it was a great experience. Uh, Dr. Elijah Pabio, uh, Lady Apostle, Helena Pabio, great, great people. Those people are deep in the world and they are very strong in the power of God. So I was exposed there so it was a revival uh, ministry that I was already exposed to. God then added this deliverance healing and miracle dimension you know to it time for me to get married so the person i was to marry is the daughter of a preacher so that was um, uh, what now led my to my living so we, we they released me to go get married and then so i joined my father-in-law in the ministry in enuku um, victory christian mission the late Archbishop. Victor Monrego. So I joined him from 97, 98, 99 to 2000. Then I had the call of God to come start what we have as full life today. Reverend Tia was spread under the leadership of Dr. Paul Enenche of Dunamis International Gospel Center. One of those, one of those days in, in, in Enugu, somebody gave me uh, two cassette tapes. One of them running with vision, I can't remember the, title, the name, title of the second one. So I played the cassette and I said, God have mercy. Who is this? Because he was sounding like everything that had been burning inside of me. I, I wanted more. I wanted to encounter more of God. And what? So I played that cassette tape throughout uh, 99, throughout uh, 2000. And, and then 2001, so full life started 2000 June. So 2001, I saw an advert that he's coming to Calabar. I said, Lord have mercy. So I now said, we're going. So I told my wife, we're going. She said, all right, we're going. Who is also in Calabar? It turned out to be Dr. Emerson. Now, while I was in Calabar, I, I was exposed to the ministry of, of, of uh, Bishop Dr. M. I. Song. I was exposed to the ministry of uh, Dr. Rex Huber Emanuel. You know, my wife was uh, more, uh, strongly involved in Dr. Rex's ministry, so I joined, got involved too. Um, Bishop Dr. M. I. Song used to come preach in. We finished from the same campus fellowship, so he used to come preach a lot. So that exposed me to their ministry. So by the time I discovered it was Bishop my son hosting him, I went there and I said, please, sir, can you give me the privilege of meeting? He said, why not? So he introduced me to Dr. Paul in Enche. And so I told him that I've been listening to his cassette tape for some years. And I told him that it was my heart desire, you know, to have him as my spiritual father. And he said, all right, come over to Abuja and see me. So we went to Abuja in November of 2001 to see him. And the journey began from there. Of course, going to Abuja was a journey on its own. <laughs> Full Life Christian Center has about 27 branches within and outside Nigeria. Its branches spread over 10 states in Nigeria, while 14 branches are within Akwaibum, including the headquarters. It has membership of over 20,000 and still counting. Reverend Sia is the host of Fresh Outpouring TV broadcast, his ministry's evangelical TV program. 
God can rescue Abraham from generational affliction, from family affliction, from inherited affliction. I announce to somebody, anything you inherited that is tormenting your life, anything that follows your family lineage, that is troubling your life, you are out in the name of Jesus. His members of Full Life Christian Center testify that his ministration has been of great impact in their lives. He breaks down the Holy Scriptures into simpler terms for everyone to understand and practice. In the, the preaching, the word, the sense of organization, and um, the message of Christ that he has preached has made me a better person from the very time I had contact with him. And taught us how to put the word of God back to God, and we see result. I have seen God in reality, worshipping in that church, and having Reverend Tia as my spiritual father. He is very professional, he is very proficient, he is extremely dedicated, he gives, when you listen to his sermons, you know that he does research. You know, when the Bible says, study to show yourself approved, that's one man that knows what it means to study. Reventia is a man that has impacted so much on the lives of people that come across him. God had given him the word, and we just thank God for his life. He's not the kind of pastor that would um, preach to entice people, to manipulate people, but he will just tell you the truth as it is. Reverend Tia Oi Ntia is a leader per excellence. He is a true believer of God, a mentor, a rare and passionate individual who preaches the truth no matter the circumstances or who is concerned. In fact, his life has transformed many. Well, for me, he's a man of great faith. His faith in God is uh, he's extremely uh, uh, incomprehensible. His knowledge his knowledge and wisdom of God is also extremely very um, uh, comprehensive as well. So I, I, I can say here that I'm, I'm one of the products of his, the grace of God upon his life. And he has taught us Christian principles that we have applied and it works. First fruit, tithing, charity, doing charity, and then most importantly, living a Christian life, bearing fruit and forgiving, forgiveness, forgiveness. He keeps happening on it, forgiveness and repentance. And so these things, we try to apply it and we've seen them work. He speaks the truth every time. He gives us the raw word from the word, from the Bible and from God. And so we love him. He's a man of God. I see my father, I call him my father because he is my spiritual father. He's not just a spiritual father. He's my father because eventually everything I've learned in life, I got it from him. Reverend Tia I Ntia to many is a dynamic and highly principled individual who has added value to everyone that has met him. Some people speak of their moments with him. He had been more than a son, he had been a partner in the ministry. A dependable, reliable partner and have given me great and amazing support spiritually and financially. He is one man all in his own class. Um, it's very difficult to find people like that. He's one of those that God has actually um, graced with that anointing that flows with heavily worded, you know, um, display. Of God's grace and mercy. Inside full life, house full life is a very good man. He relates well with people. Um, being a chairman of PFN in a quiet room, he relates well with PFN. The church, one of the churches that I've been able to relate with us very well through his uh, headship. Uh, Reverend Tamta is a very focused and committed um, pastor. Our man of God, I should say, is a, he's a fantastic preacher of God's word. He's very highly motivated and takes his work very seriously. The impact that Reverend Chanty has had in my life, you know, eventually when I actually came in contact with him, it was after many years, 
So I didn't just go there for recognition, but there is something I saw in him that attracted us to his program. Aquaibom is happy to give us a product to the whole world. Looks a little bit strict and stern, but I think it carries a grace that uh, is, is unveiling uh, as we go by. Uh, everybody must appreciate this uh, very rare gem uh, and value what it carries. I'll describe my spiritual father, Reverend India India, as a gift to the body of Christ. He's a gift from God to the body of Christ. Reverend Tia is a resourceful leader who believes in human and capacity development. In the area of education, Full Life Nursery and Primary School, Zikaradok Avenue Uyo, and Full Life Academy, Airport Road, have already responded to parents' needs of good and well-rounded education to their children. He's very, very passionate about what he does. Either it's in the academic sector, ministry, he is very, very passionate and hardworking. As a lover of education and knowledge, Reverend Tia has built and completed a block of classrooms at Afodukwa Secondary Grammar School, Obio Fort Uyo, in order to give the students a conducive learning environment. It's, you want to use for it to honor his it's, 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 uh, it's 50th anniversary birth. That's why the mission of the project is a legacy project that, that, that will go along to speak for the school. The mission is that he wants this project to 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 showcase what God has done in his life and how God has done it as a blessing to the school. The affordable core project, the Lord just laid it in my heart. My daughter is doing her youth service in that school. So she came back one day and she was talking about how they have up to hundred students in the class and they're sharing tables. I said why? Is that because they don't have enough classes? So I, I, I felt a burden in my heart to build uh, some classrooms for them there. So I told them to go build the classrooms for them. And so they went there and they said, okay, we have seen uh, where to build the classroom. I said, good, so how many are going to build? They said, oh, three classrooms. I said, what? How will three classrooms take a double it, make it six classrooms? So they're making it six classrooms, two offices. And uh, by God's grace, we are handing this, the classrooms block classroom block over to the school this coming Monday, which is actually my birthday. Reverend Tia is also a blessing to his community as he is currently building a nursery primary schools in his hometown, Ididebusuk, Ibionibum local government area. The school is intended to be a standard British school and on completion will be tuition free and every pupil and student will be entitled to a free meal. So now you get it in Bobang, you will be able to have a phone where you will be able to get it in Bono. Dear Antia, do good when you need my Anna Frefrew. Dear Antia, and you need my Anna Buru when a bully more Frefrew when you are looking at you. Free school and you have been in the popping or you will be able to eat. Above you know the world of you. Above a funny day, you know, it is gone with. Get here is sponsored by Reverend Inta I Inta, and the project is a, a model nursery and primary school. It is a, a seven classroom block with other facilities like the science lab, the art studio, the computer lab, the assembly hall, the playground. Uh, admin uh, office and other facilities. God laid it in my heart to um, the the free school project in my village, the Debusu. You know, and um, by the grace of God, we have uh, finished DPC. We are at the DPC stage, and we're going to take it on from there. A full school, and by God's grace, um, that school will be absolutely free. Having understood the benefits of good health to every individual, Reverend Tia R. Intia organizes periodic medical outreach in his community where the medical needs of the people are attended to. 
edi edi si aga efak mbi yorogo tu tu ama ama ke yoro efak yoro gbaa wuro mmo bet ke mfona ba se abi yoge kire mmo ana me di wa kire nji ban eni unwa ma tuko genye ari efu mmo na nte nda aga ru mba nguno nguno ru anye ntwa ara uvok nye ga e ka mi nsiru baba ire mbi sungu nti anti ana asun uvok ke kparam ri bo mi no no won na era no fifty na era Adi meli bo ko isa adi o nya yi no mi en so ki suwa ki suwa ana ya di di nam bom fon ana me wu u fo ri bo ko me ma rara di adi ya me wu di di bo ko ke ta ipo ipo do ngoro me wu gbe ni ya ko ibini ka u fo ri bo ki ti even adi do gan dag re friend me wu di di bo ko e so be se bo fon bo e no ye gi ndaga ke ndaga oi intia belief in employment creation and income generation In this regard, he has built a celebration arena, three-star hotel, a hostel, and other facilities that have employed many people. Reverend Ntio is a reservoir of knowledge and a gift from God to the body of Christ. He is a prolific writer whose books are not only motivating and inspiring, but have remained sources of reference to everyone, including men of God. He has over 21 books to his credit and still counting. He's a prolific writer. He's written many books that are so inspiring, motivating, and um, that he serves as a, a reservoir of um, a resource of uh, material for a lot of um, people. God spoke to me to go from preaching the word to writing the word because a book can reach where a man can nourish to you to carry me to your house might not be as easy as carrying the message in a book so so the messenger is only a messenger because of a message so the same way the message has impact when spoken the message also has impact when written Reverentio or Intio is a loving and caring husband. He is married to Pastor Mrs. Ukama Kantia from Anambra State. He is also a total package of a father, an extraordinary brother and friend. My husband is my friend. We many times people refer to us as uh, brother and sister and we don't dispute the fact because that's how we feel. Our relationship started from Unical. So I've known him more than 25 years. I'm married with 25 years later this year. So we have this we just we laugh, we play. And the same thing with the children. If you see him talking with his children, you would think that he's talking to his younger brothers and sisters. He's different on the pulpit. In the pulpit he's our pastor, on, but at home he's our father. is our friend and he knows that we call of us laugh so as a pastor he's committed to god to the work that god has called him to do and also he's very intentional about fulfilling the purpose of god for his life and feeding god's sheep watching him as god's servant who is also my husband i'm excited to say that god's hand is upon his life unquestionably and he's serving God with everything that is inside him. He's a man that is always um First of all, he had something in his mind or God had shown him something of what his future was going to be and this ties to next quality which is now hard work and uh, the ability to give it all it takes because he often says give life all it takes and life will give you all it has. With those two things, vision and hard work, those two things come together and he never allows or he never allowed anything no matter what was going on around even when it seemed like ah, is this thing really working out but he still continued giving it all it takes well he's a caring kind fun and approachable man he's caring to everybody close and even those far or well, even those far from him he tries to always reach out to people even if they don't know him but he reaches out to them in any way he can growing up childhood has been normal like any other family as the only girl with three boys 
um, we, ha we are close, quite close with everyone. But I think the age difference of one year makes um, me closer to our own reverend, our own papa, my pastor, my brother. Papa realized himself in school. Why do I say so? Um, I knew when he was a bit rash. I saw a switch on campus. I didn't know maybe he was preparing for his future. Um, Pap, my brother that was so a bit insensitive started becoming very responsive. In fact, he bought me a gift to apologize if he had done anything wrong. <laughs> In fact, I fainted when I said, God, things are really happening. And I was now asking myself, where am I? You see, people are changing. God, he walked with God all through. Family members, the church and friends wish him more fruitful years. Now that uh, my spiritual father has plucked 50 years, it is my wish and uh, also the wishes of every member of a Full Life Christian Center that the remaining part of his years will be more glorious, more impactful. On your special day, my dear husband, I want to say that I love you and it's my prayer that God's hand will continue to rest mightily upon you every day of your life. It's also my prayer that God will keep you strong till we see him face to face. Happy Golden Jubilee. Wish, but my prayer for him is that God will give him the strength and the grace and the same drive and tenacity to still keep on pushing because you know that the sky is just the starting point. I wish him more grace, more strength, more fire and see more and more years till even he's 60 and past 60. And on this um, special occasion, his 50th birthday, we are saying that we love you, Pastor Antia. Happy 50th anniversary. This is wishing Papa a happy 50th birthday. Your jubilee is here and everything God has designed and destined for you to accomplish in this season, you shall accomplish in the name of Jesus. And I'm very, very sure that God will bless you. Blessing beyond measure. Consider mostly what is inside of you and push on and the wall and the sky is your limit. My wish for him, stay focused. Let the vision you have tunnel drive you. Know where you are coming from, know where you are and know where you are going. We wish him the very best and we ask that the work will grow much more than it is. I wish you the very best that God would wish you and the body of Christ in Akwaba Sibom State. You know that we love you. I want to wish Papa a very beautiful golden birthday celebrations. I pray for many more of God's blessings upon his life. Wish Papa, Reverend Ntia Hai Ntia, a very beautiful birthday anniversary. It is his golden jubilee. He turns 50. Papa, we love you. I wish my, my father and the Lord many more years of good health. I wish him even greater anointing. I wish him many more years of impact to this generation. To my spiritual father, as you clock 50, I'm asking God Almighty to continue to bless you, to strengthen you, and to make his word, the word of God, to continue to have strength and energy so that many souls can be saved. Reverend Tia I in Tia is a giant among his contemporaries that cannot be ignored. His messages are therapeutic and soothing to the human soul. Indeed, God has greatly endowed and favored him in virtually all aspects of life, wishing him all the best and many more years. Yes.